Hi, my name is Dougie Pointer. I play bass guitar for a band called McFly, and today we're in our studio. My first memory of music in the car with my mum and her. Like my mum was just huge on pop, like Madonna, George Michael. I discovered rock music from the very first Grand Theft Auto. Uh, there was a radio station on, the, on in Grand Theft Auto when you got in the car. And then my aunt got me Enema of the State by Blink, Nevermind, and a, a Pearl Jam CD, I can't remember which one. I just had those on, on repeat. I didn't know I wanted to be in a band until I heard the um, Mark, Tom and Travis show, the live Blink album. I, I, I remember like, getting like halfway through that album and going like, yeah, I want to do this forever. Like, that's, that's what I want to do. I didn't, I didn't specifically like choose the bass. I used to be part of this like little group of skateboarders and my best friend at the time uh, broke his ankle. Yeah, he'd just be sat at home being all bummed out, like learning songs on his guitar. And I was like, fuck, I want to do that. My mum wouldn't let me buy a real guitar. She was like, you can get an acoustic one from Argos. And if you uh, are still into it in like a year from now, we'll get you a, a real guitar. So yeah, I saved up my I saved up my money by selling reptiles. Yeah, I used to breed reptiles. That's how I used to make money as a kid. Most kids had like paper rounds and stuff. I used to breed lizards. This kid who I didn't think liked me at all. He comes up to me and is like, "There's a band with a record deal looking for a bass player." I was like, "Oh, okay, man." And he's like, "Yeah, go and go and check the library. It'll be it'll be down there." In the enemy, uh, in the like classified section or whatever at the back, was yeah this band, band signed to Universal Records, looking for drummer and bass player. A few weeks went by and we, we drove to Covent Garden and I auditioned. Right before I, I started playing, I think it was our manager at the time said, "Oh, can you play something? I don't know, pop." So I started playing Billie Jean, and then was like. Oh shit, that do 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 that's the only bit I know. And just like froze in this like fever dream hell with Billie Jean just on, on loop, just kept going. I'm like, I don't know where can I can I noodle the rest? I no, I've never noodled in my fucking life. Like, how do I get into something else? Like so I just played that and then they like whoa, 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay, okay. Um yeah, don't don't call us, we'll call you kind of thing. And I remember going home. Fuck! I got an email saying that they're still struggling to find a bass player, they've got a drummer. Um, do, we'll send you the demo, learn the demo, and we'll, you can have a, a second try. So I got really, really lucky. We used to do a lot of like 60s stuff. Yeah, it had this like 60s twist that would like Beach Boys harmonies and stuff. I was like, that's it, that mixed with pop punk. Like, that's awesome, and it was like, Super, super feel good. I was like, this is this is the coolest fucking shit. And Tom sounded a bit like uh, Billy from Green Day at the time. So I got a second chance, <laughs> and I got in based on uh, just absolute sheer uh, bass shredding ability. 